Hello Visual Effects people, I'm AK, this is Fluid Ninja VFX Tools 1.5 and I would like to introduce new features introduced in 2021. We're going backwards. 1.5 has been released and we are going to talk about volumetrics first, then tiling and later on moving on to older features added this year. I'm jumping on to this newly added level, use cases, volume clouds. And here you could see that we have a, a looping flipbook and this flipbook, the grayscale density data of the flipbook is used to drive uh, UE 4.26 volumetric cloud systems. And so we could adjust lightning and in the material we could access uh, play speed and density and such parameters. And this is the volumetric cloud actor. Here is where we could swap materials. For example, this is a more stylized version. Or I could invite Aurora Borealis or something which looks like a stormy cloud. And um, we have a few instructions here and a new chapter added to the manual, so please have a look at that. I'm moving on to the next level, which is introducing tiling with volumetric clouds. Um, yeah, here is this wall of text. It's pretty much about tiling, how it is built and how it should be handled. But the point is that uh, Ninja Tools now could generate patterns which uh, could be tiled seamlessly, repeated. And these patterns are also looped. So we could use these patterns many ways. In the future I'm planning to do some pseudo volumes and real volumes with these. But right now um, we are using uh, this tile pattern to cover the sky. And again in the volumetric cloud actor you could check the example materials. Um, for example this one is a very thin layer of clouds on a foggy day or here is this massive shield And in case you would like to have a view um, from a distance, you could always uh, select this viewport multiplier and set it like a thousand times bigger. So you could uh, ascend above the cloudscape. So this is the advantage of tiled clouds. Now, uh, what happens if I move way higher? Well, yeah, it looks kind of ugly because it is a tiled pattern, but this could be set to look nice. So I'm moving on to volume clouds level 3, and here we go. Uh, the same tiling pattern, but a bit tweaked to look a bit more charming. Yeah, zooming in on the details of this cloud shield. And so, uh, what happens if we zoom out a bit more? Well, I have a different setup for this, and this level is called tiling. And we have these uh, marbles, the planets here, and they are using the same turbulent looped tiled pattern as we do on the volumetric clouds level but oops <laughs> the multiplier is still a bit high mm, so I have to get back to these guys uh, yep here we go <laughs> 
So the thing is that uh, the same pattern, the same uh, flipbook have been used to create these simple shaded materials. And, oh well, yeah, this one is with parallax occlusion mapping. And the volume cloud thing. Let me quickly move on uh, to the Ninja Tools level to see how it works. Um, it is really simple. All presets um, seen previously are using this uh, atmospheric preset kit. And we have like a low resolution version, medium, high and ultra high where we could render out each day flipbooks. But the point is that we have this bull flag here in the canvas section called tiling. And so if it is switched on, hmm, well, yeah, maybe a non-tiling texture might be better to demonstrate it. So here is flower and I switch on tiling and I could offset the canvas and uh, set scaling and so you could see that it's seamlessly tiled so that's how we are creating these patterns and of course I just type in a name like Atmo test press record and here we go the flipbook is recorded don't forget to save the texture and the materials belonging to that texture and I'm quitting Ninja Tools and in the output folder here's this preview material and in the preview material we have this option available as well UV tiling so um, I'm setting it two times switching off the auto light corrector and how about uh, lowering the play speed a bit and enabling velocity based interpolation because that might give us a smooth blending between the frames shortly that's how tiling works and um, I would like to show you volumetric fog tutorial level as well so here we go use cases volume fog and it's the same native Unreal Engine volumetric system but it's much older than the clouds and is available in previous in lower versions as well so again these are spatially extended volumetric systems driven with two-dimensional flipbook data please notice that if I am going further away the volumetric fog is fading out and it is replaced by a traditional flipbook so it's like a level of detail system in working here yeah, and a few more Again, uh, description in the manual and on the levels. And taking a large step backwards, we are going to visit the features of 1.4 because uh, at the time I didn't had, uh, didn't had. Uh, I was busy with Ninja Live, so I would like to introduce these features as well quickly. Um, again, uh, separate uh, demonstration levels. I'm moving on to Cloud Vortex. You might have seen this level a thousand times, but the point is um, that these systems are completely autonomous, which means we don't need blueprints anymore to drive Niagara systems with flipbooks, because uh, we have this uh, built-in Niagara Ninja module. So if I'm selecting one of these systems, going to the details panel, have a double click and here you could see Fluid Ninja Flipbook Player and uh, it is channeled to the user parameters data interface so once you select such a system 
um, you could provide the system uh, with the flipbooks on the details panel. Um, e uh, one more thing maybe because in Ninja 1.3 um, we had systems uh, driven or served by blueprints and here uh, we have uh, the remnants of this legacy system because to do proper ray marching on these particles, I mean shading, um, we really need to capture the information, the lightning information to a render target and use that to shade the particle system. So in this case in case we would like to have proper shading and ray marching on a Niagara system, we still need the blueprint. But in any other case, I mean, when we are doing these stylized uh, particle visuals, the blueprints are not needed. And there is one more uh, thing I would like to remind you that although we are using flipbooks, so the data is baked, we could use particle collision to have some kind of interaction. So, baked fluids could behave interactively when used this way. Right, and finally, um, here is curl noise and HD flipbooks, again moving on to um, the Fluid Ninja Core level. I'm sorry. Yep. And starting Ninja. So, <laughs> um, here is how the logo looks like. And it looks like this uh, with curl noise added. So, um, Basically, you could smudge things to hell using this. And um, oh, there is also this feature that we could use uh, Niagara mesh particles and mesh surface particles to create flipbooks. And we could also create HD flipbooks. So now you could set a flipbook resolution to extremely high like uh, in the case of this atmospheric preset. It, one, it is 1000 pixel each frame and we are recording 25 frames. So shortly that's it. Thank you for your patience and see you next time.